<laughs> you know, in general, you're number one and two. That's the research has said that uh, um, you want two your best four. hitter hitting second, your second next best hitter hitting fourth. Yes, that's what I've read too. Yeah, um, um, the for, marginal for difference reason. over the course of the season is slight, but that's you know his instinct is right. Who is that? This Jeff, is yes. Jeff. He's yeah. right. I mean, but I mean, ultimately, I'd want the best hitters batting the most. I'm not saying Josh Hamilton should lead off for Texas, but should he bat second? I mean, second. you could easily make the case for that. Um, put your best hitter second. Beltran yes. batting put your second. Best hitter for second. Louis? Put your next best hitter fourth, and put your next best hitter after that third. I think if yeah. you do that, just set the lineup. Make sure we're getting our best guys the most at bats. Make that little tweak. The second best guy is fourth instead of third. You're probably not going to extract a whole lot of extra value out of your lineup construction beyond what you do right there. It's it's very overrated. I mean, people talk about lineups quite a yes. bit, but I mean, lineup we construction do. is ex- it's hard not to get caught up in it. Well, I mean, when you see Wilson Valdez batting second in front of Joey Votto, it's ridiculous that. and dumb. Isn't and Cozart be still leading off for the Reds? He has like a two thirty on base as a leadoff hitter. Just stop doing it. Yeah. If you want to win, stop letting Zach Cozart lead off. But I mean, he's, he's a classic eight hitter for me. That's he, what he, you he know, should in, be in the, the minors. Sense that he's better than the pitcher. <laughs> and Barely. He's a defensive shortstop. Yeah, right. Exactly. I mean, I, Dusty Baker's amazing, and he's winning with this. But that's the pr- that's yeah. the point. You can win with a lineup of Cozart batting first and Drew Stubbs second because lineup construction doesn't mean a whole lot in the big picture. It's no. just Joey Votto could have, you know, under Ethier's meaningless RBI total right now if anybody was on base for him. It, uh, you know. And by the way, D. Gordon's not getting on base. He should be in the minors too. You can't be. You can't have a 250 on base percentage to lead off. The manager just isn't paying attention if he's doing that. He just isn't. 